Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols. So I kind of um, have been experiencing a lot of the symptoms that I have been hearing about for the coronavirus. I don't know if I've had it or just the flu or what, but um, wow, it's been very bizarre and it has kicked my ass. Um, it has several weird, weird hallmarks that I've had, like incredibly vivid, weird dreams, which I had. Um, oftentimes there's a point right in the middle where you think you're fine, like the eye of a hurricane. And uh, that uh, has happened to me. And now I'm in the second, I guess the second side of the uh, hurricane. And I've been feeling really shitty, just super weak not wanting to or feeling like I could talk just drains energy I've heard that's one of the symptoms as well um, I had about two days where I couldn't smell anything which is not super unusual for me since my um, sinuses are really screwed up but I wanted to fill you in on what's going on here in the Bronx um, which is the national hotspot really New York is the hotspot and the Bronx is the worst from what everything I've heard um, the stores are most most of them are shut only some of them are open um, it's very bizarre to go around and see all the stores closed I have to go very far to get dog food and uh, basics and there's massive price gouging Everything is about double the cost of normal. Um, and um, so enough about me, but the Bronx has been really amazing. Um, all the healthcare workers, these people are going into battle against this virus. It's amazing to see the streets empty. It's amazing to see all these heroes from the people who stock the grocery stores that are open to paramedics to post office workers um, and especially the nurses and doctors facing this virus it's just been amazing so they are deeply in my thoughts and prayers um, this is a mental fight so much of this is a mental fight and I would highly recommend you guys follow all the guidelines and mentally be strong, as strong as you can. Um, try and keep your battery charged. Don't let it drain out. I unfortunately had done that a few times and some of the people that I've helped here in the neighborhood have been reaching out for prayers and help. Um, it does give us a wonderful time as a race and a rare time as a whole race across the entire planet to think about life and our priorities. And it seems like it could be something that could teach us. I mean, a war is stupid. The borders don't matter when the chips are down. We all need each other. And that we're one race. But regardless, it gives people time to introspect, and I think that's very positive. And um, I just want you guys to know that you're in my prayers. I'm super weak and tired. I won't be answering many calls or emails. Please don't be offended. I love you guys so much. Um, a couple of you have sent in donations, and I just can't thank you enough. Everything's twice as difficult here. And I think in like a day or two more, I'll have my feet back under me and I'll be going out to help people so um, that's it I love you guys be strong follow the guidelines and if anyone wants any prayers you got it <laughs>